to Nolito. Oh, what an astonishing goal from Nolito. Absolutely magnificent. What a superb strike. Oh, goal on the other end. Go, 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 go. Nolito. Oh, what a fantastic goal from Nolito. He's the key man at Celta Vigo. Top goal scorer for the team in the last two seasons. Nolito has deservedly earned a place amongst the best of this Liga BBVA. He's an electric and skilled winger who likes to define himself as a street footballer. I don't know. I generally try to play like I always have done. I believe I've improved tactically and in my defensive positioning, but I think when playing with the ball at my feet, I play like I've always played. I think street football is maybe disappearing a bit, because I think people played five-a-side football much more in the past, at least in my neighbourhood, but now kids spend more time on their phone or PlayStation instead. Born in San Lucar de Barrameda, Cadiz, 29 years ago, Nolito began his footballing journey with hometown teams. After passing through Ethija, in July 2008, he arrived at football club Barcelona B, where he joined up with a coach that would be key in his career, Luis Enrique. I've said it in many interviews. I arrived at a complicated time where I could have taken a step forward or backwards. He was very kind to me, but when he had to tell me something negative, he made sure he told me and helped me a lot in my career like other coaches, for example, Josep Maria Nogues or Carlos Rios. I am very happy that everything is going well for him. We have a good friendship because we spent four years together, three at Barca B and one at Celta. He's a manager who has had a great effect on my career. Nolito ended up playing some matches with the Barcelona first team under Pep Guardiola. But facing difficulty in getting game time, he abandoned the Blaugranas in the summer of 2011 to move to another of the big clubs on the continent, Portugal's Benfica. I spent a year and a half there. I had the opportunity to sign for a team as big as Benfica. I played I don't know how many matches, played in the Champions League and scored 15 goals. It went well, but on the other hand, I felt that I hadn't had much of a connection with the coach and thought I wasn't going to progress, and so I took the decision to move back to Spain. I couldn't move in the summer, but I did at Christmas and I came to Granada, where the team was fighting relegation. I spent four good months in Granada and also at Benfica. You learn from everything, both when you play and don't play. In the end, it all makes you stronger and you value things much more. Contributing to Granada's survival, Nolito would finally arrive at Celta for the start of La Liga's 2013-14 season. In the almost three campaigns he's spent at Vigo, he's reached a spectacular level, making it into the national team and with every chance of being on Vicente del Bosque's final 23 list of players for the European Championships. It's true that I have always dreamed of going to the Euros from the first day I was selected, and I will dream until the manager gives in his final squad list. Until then, I will not relax. The great performances of Nolito at Celta haven't gone unnoticed, and there are several clubs that have called Vigo inquiring about his situation. One of those that has done so often is Barcelona. Luis Enrique has acknowledged on more than one occasion that he would be delighted to have Nolito at his services once more. And he let it be! He scored! Phil to have taken the lead from nowhere! La 
bloody me! I have a contract here. I've always said that. There has been a lot of speculation. When it hasn't been Barca, it's been another team. At the end of the day, I am here and I am calm about it. I already said it at the time. I'm a Celta player and if there's a team that wants me, they should negotiate with the club. And after, if I'm interested, I'll go. And if not, I won't. I'm very content here. I've always said that. Despite all the speculation surrounding me, those that say it are always others. This is what happens in football. I will stay on the outside and I am calm and happy. Awaiting the possibilities of the next transfer market, Nolito faces the future with calmness. In Vigo, he's found happiness and is confident he will continue to entertain fans with his football, whether in Balaidos or another ground. I will continue my journey. Everything that's happened to me is in the past. At the moment, I have to carry on. If God helps me and I stay more or less injury-free, I should have several more years of my career left. I'm in a good stage of my life in that I'm physically good, high on confidence, so I will continue my journey.